Have you ever wondered just what is a computer, really? Well, that depends on what you're going to use it for. It's a word processing machine. No, it's a spreadsheet machine. No, it's a web browsing machine. No, it's a games machine. Uh, wait a minute here. If it's all of these completely different things, then what is it, really? I claim that the computer is really an interactivity machine. Let's suppose that I could zap your computer with my interactivity disruptor gun, which destroys all the interactivity in your computer, but leaves it otherwise unharmed. A word processor minus its interactivity would be no different than typewriters. A spreadsheet without its interactivity would be basically pencil and paper. The internet would just be a great big pile of books. And a game without interactivity? <laughs> no. In other words, a computer without interactivity would be pretty much useless. Okay, so what is interactivity? Well, first, let's talk about what it isn't. Interactive does not mean digital. Nor is interactive the same thing as reactive. Some people seem to think that if your reaction is really, really powerful, then it's somehow interactive. No, interaction is not reaction with the volume turned all the way up. The best way to understand interaction is to think of it in terms of a conversation between two people, except that one of the people is a computer. So here we are, all set up for an interaction between human and computer. Step one, the computer has spoken something to the human by showing something on its screen. The human, in effect, listens to what the computer is saying. Step two, the human thinks about what he's gotten from the computer and forms a reaction to it. Step three, the human speaks his reaction back to the computer. Step four, now it's the computer's turn to listen to the human. Step five, the computer thinks about what it heard using its algorithms and develops its own reaction. And finally, step six, the computer speaks its reaction back to the human using graphics, animation, and sound. So there it is. Interaction is a cyclic process in which the human and the computer alternately listen, think, and speak. Your job is on the right side of this figure. You have to program the computer to listen and to think and to speak. Now, the true value of any definition is the insight that it offers into the term being defined. So, let's use this conversational metaphor to better understand how to design for interactivity. Suppose you're having a conversation with somebody and the other person is a good listener. That would be a good conversation. But suppose the other person just refused to listen to what you were saying. That would be a total waste of time. Now imagine having a conversation with a very intelligent person. That would be a rewarding conversation. By contrast, Talking with a moron just isn't worth your time. Lastly, consider a conversation with somebody who can speak very well. That would be inspiring, wouldn't it? But who would want to waste time with an inarticulate clod? Thus, in order to have a rewarding conversation, the other person must listen well and think well and speak well. If they fall down on any of those three tasks, the interaction is a failure. We can express this idea in logical terms. A good interaction requires good listening and good thinking and good speaking. Here's a little trick you might not have known. When you transform one-bit Boolean logic into multi-bit arithmetic logic, the AND operator transforms into multiplication, 
and the Boolean OR operator transforms into addition. Thus, the quality of the interaction is equal to the quality of the listening multiplied by the quality of the thinking multiplied by the quality of the speaking. Therefore, good software requires a balance of good listening, good thinking, and good speaking. Sadly, most game designers are more interested in showing off their great graphics, animation, and sound than working on the listening or thinking parts of their designs. This is selfish. It's rude. It makes for lousy conversations and lousy interaction. Think in terms of competition with other media. Literature is all speaking and no listening or thinking. Cinema is all speaking and no listening or thinking. Same thing goes with theater, or music, or for that matter, painting. They're all the same. All existing media are fundamentally speaking media. But computers are different. They're the only medium that can provide interactivity. Think in terms of your basis of competitive advantage when using graphics, animation, and sound. Sure, you can put great graphics into a game, but your customers can get better graphics on the internet for free. Yeah, you can have wonderful animation in a game, but they can get better animation cheaper in a DVD. Same thing goes with music. Yeah, you can put great music in a game, but it's a lot cheaper to buy a CD or just stream it. Thus, when it comes to interaction, you can win with, a, uh, with your game, but when it comes to graphics, animation, or sound, you just can't compete. Thus, with graphics, you lose. With animation, you lose. With music, you lose. But with interactivity, you win. Okay, let's sum everything up. First, interactivity is the essence of computing. Second, interaction is a cyclic process in which the user and the computer alternately listen, think, and speak. Third, Good software design requires you to combine equal parts of good listening, good thinking, and good speaking. In my next lecture, which I'll build after this one has earned a thousand views, I'll show you how to build software with good listening powers.